Roxy. I'm here. Today is Monday, January. I have no idea. What is the date today? I should know this. January 6th. That's what it is. January 6th. Um, kids went back to school today, so that was nice. Um, I officially go back on Wednesday, so that'll be my first day back for my last semester. Fingers crossed, everything goes good. Um, how are y'all doing? I hope y'all had a good last weekend before we get back to business. Those of y'all that are um, either in the um, in classes or our parent that's got kids that are going back to school, you know. So uh, I think usually the crowd is like 50-50. Most of the time it's the parents that are like, oh my God, I'm so happy that the kids are going back to school and the kids are like, crap, I have to go back to school, you know. I was never one of those. Um, I enjoy it. I love it. Eric was kind of eh. He's just not a morning person, so I don't care if it was his day off and you still get him up at a halfway early time in the morning. Uh, he's still not happy about it in general. So, um, let's see. It is around, well, it's 2.24 now. I have about an hour before Eric gets home from school, so I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, like I said, today's Monday. Um, Matt and his parents come and pick me up this morning, and we went out to the college to just kind of... Um, his mom had to turn in some paperwork, do some things, and uh, me and Matt had to go check out our books or at least see what we needed. Um, so out of my, I've got my, um, I actually need to unplug it here. I have my little tablet here. This was uh, my Christmas gift to myself, I guess, you know, for um, Christmas. So I got myself a huge tablet. So anyways, um, I was looking on here because I still had to get one class approved um, before I could purchase my book for that class. Um, so it just got approved. I sent my advisor uh, um, a little reminder uh, to make sure he approved it uh, before the first day of class. And I can't show up if I'm not on the register, you know. So basically, my final semester here, I am taking um, Health 110, Personal Health slash Wellness. Um, I am also taking culture studies, so humanities 120 culture studies, basically the little course description that it says in here, it says, this course introduces the distinctive features of a particular culture. Topics include art, history, music, literature, politics, philosophy, and religion. Upon completion, students should be able to appreciate the unique character of the study culture. Okay, I took Southern Culture, I believe, two semesters ago. I love that class. I wish there was like a part two of Southern Culture that they took, that they um, provided here on, um, at Beaufort, because I love that class. Uh, so I'm taking that one. Um, also, let me do the little description for the, the personal health and wellness that I'm taking. Let me click on it and see what it says. It says, okay, this course provides an introduction to the basic personal health and wellness. Emphasis is placed on current health issues such as nutrition, mental health, and fitness. Upon completion, students should be able to demonstrate an understanding of the factors necessary for the maintenance of health and wellness. Okay, don't sound too bad. Um, and I believe the only other one I'm taking, which is my Achilles heel, is math. I'm taking math 171. Pre-calculus algebra support. Oh no, that was for the requisite. Okay. So anyways, um, my school basically has switched over uh, that if you scored under a certain point or whatever in order to graduate or get your math class, um, you have to take a requisite, which is like an additional class. Basically, it's like you meet right after your regular class time would be for that math class and it's basically like a tutor um, you receive two credits in lieu of being in there so it's like an hour long four days a week no big deal I'd be spending that time with the tutor anyways because math is not my strong suit and pre-calculus just scares the bejesus out of me but I have to get it over I have to get this done with um, before I can graduate so I have to do it so I'm you know doing that so anyways um, I'll order Matt picked up his books that he needed. Um, out of my three classes, the first two, this third one, the, um, what was it, the health and wellness, um, I hadn't been approved yet, so I couldn't get my book for that yet. But the other two, the 
the uh, humanities and the math are saying that they do not require a book at this time that the teacher will provide blah 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 I'm almost positive the math I'm gonna need like a my math lab access code for that it's fine um, and so I ordered that other book pick it up my first day there when I go to college on Wednesday um, so that was going on so while I was there at the bookstore I decided to shop a little bit um, so I bought a couple things every semester I always buy um, college memorabilia, whatever you want to call it, like t-shirts, um, hoodies, hats, you know, stuff like that. I always like that to support my, my college. You know, I love to, to promote it and boost it. And, um, if someone will give me an ear and want to hear about BCC, I will tell them about it and how much I love it. And their slogan, you know, um, you belong here. So fit me in general because I love that place you know once I get done with this semester actually starting this semester I'm going to start trying to um, see what job positions are available because I really truly want to work there at BCC um, at least for a little while and kind of give back what they've given so much and instilled in me and just confidence and just the right directions and just such fabulous people that work there so shout out to BCC I'm coming for you Okay, so my last video, I did a wish haul. Uh, me and my son, he ended up, you know, jumping in and helping me out, which was great. I love that. Uh, so I knew I had more coming. I had one package that came today when I got home from being with Matt. And um, one little package, and it had a little bit of weight to it. I knew what it was right away because I only ordered one thing. Well, two things that are the same, you know, one item, but two um, that were like metal, whatever. And I told you before, I went on this kick with keychains. I don't know why. So anyways, I ordered one for me and I ordered one for mom. So I knew what they was right away. And so mom was kind of looking. I said, mom, go ahead and open it up. I said, I was going to save it for um, for my video today. I said, but just go ahead and open it up. Just kind of see someone else, his eyes light up, you know, when they knew what it was and it was coming. So mama opened it up. And so basically I got these little turtle keychains. Let you see them. Yeah. Um, mine is pink, as you can see, and his little head moves, um, yeah, his little feet move, I think his, no, his tail don't move, but his little feet move, and his little head moves, just adorable. I got one in pink, and, um, I got one for, uh, mom in green, it was like real pretty, um, like an emerald green little gems along with a little, the little fake diamond ones as well, and so I got that, and she was ecstatic about that, so that was sweet, um. I think they're adorable. So I had purchased that. Um, so that was the one thing that didn't get opened on on um, video with you guys. But I still wanted to share it with you, you know. I still have a few more things coming. It just seems like it's just trickling in now. I'll get like one here, and then it'll wait two or three days, and I won't get nothing. And then about the time I forget about it, another one will come in. So I've still got more coming. Um, so anyways, while I'm going to scoot back a little bit here. So while I was at the college today in the bookstore, I picked up a few things. Um... First thing I picked up, which is a t-shirt here. I'm gonna have to stand up, so please excuse me. How do I do this? Speaking of which, like I live in BCC clothes. If you can tell, this is like a BCC shirt, but this is the old one. So like every semester I'll pick up like four or five shirts. This is the first semester I actually didn't pick up very many at all, um, only because I have like a gazillion of them. So um, after I'll pick up like four or five new ones, um, I'll start phasing out ones that either are starting to show wear or I am the world's worst for using bleach on everything because I love the smell of bleach. I'm one of them weirdos. and um, But I'm also very um, destructive with bleach as far as it'll splash on me or something because I, um, um, I don't know why I got it. Okay, I'm here. So anyways, when I do dishes every night, um, I've always, my mom had taught me, my grandmother taught her or whatever, you always put like a little cap full of bleach in your bleach water, especially during the winter season when everyone seems to be getting sick and stuff. And so I always do that. Um, maybe not even a cap full, just, like, just a little bit, you know, especially if it's like the name brand Clorox and not like the Great Value brand. So I do that, but I have a tendency to splash. And so in doing that, I ruin a lot of shirts unfortunately. So now I've learned before I will uh, do dishes, I'll go ahead and go get changed into a shirt that's already been damaged, so then it don't matter, you know. So anyways, like this, for example, I'll use them for night clothes. I don't know if you can see, but I've got like bleach stain right here. That one's not bad. So anyways, that's one reason why every year, every semester I will buy new shirts. So this one is a long sleeve one, Bover County Community College, and um, 
It's really nice. I actually got to where I like the slick gray, and it's um, the Champion brand. They started carrying Under Armour and Champion, which is really nice because it's a good quality brand, but the only downfall, it is a little bit pricey, but, you know, you get what you pay for on certain things, and so got that. See the little Champion brand there. Very soft, very nice. So on them cold days, I can kind of put this on. Um, be comfortable. And it's a darker color. I usually go for the more bright colors, as you can see. But um, I went for the more darker colors only because I think it just holds in heat a little bit better for um, winter time when you're cold. Um, by the way, I'm going to push this down. Y'all see my pajamas? Can y'all see them? I got donuts on my pajamas. They're the fuzzy pajamas. I love them. <sighs> Fat girl at heart. I can't help it. Okay, the next thing I got, which I got two of the same, so I'm only going to show you the one. So I got the sweatpants, like the matching set sweatpants to go with it. And it has our logo, Beaufort County Community College on it. And they're real pretty in blue. Champion brand again. Um, real nice, real basic. Champion brand. They do cuff at the end, which I like. You know? And um, they're real soft on the inside. Um, so they'll definitely keep me warm. So I got that. I got two pairs of them. Um, so... I actually do not own sweatpants, so them are probably the first pair times two of sweatpants that I've gotten in years. Um, let's see, what do we do? Oh, I want to take you on a tour of my college, uh, uh, of my college, really, of my closet real quick, just to kind of show you the amount of BCC memorabilia I do have. One of the main reasons, not only to rep my school, um, that I chose to purchase so many t-shirts um, since being out there as a student is uh, because I'm out there Monday through Friday, like 99% of the time. Um, you figure that's five outfits a day, I mean a week. Um, you go through a lot and you actually get a lot of wear and tear on your clothes after wearing them over and over and over. And so this way, my me purchasing t-shirts um, from the store, it's kind of like my little uniform that I give myself. I put a pair of pants on or something, or um, like knee highs, whatever, you know, like the short pants, and um, I just sew on a t-shirt and I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about it, you know. And so that's one reason why I purchased so many of them on top of um, repping my school, you know. So I'm going to pick you up. Of course, I'm recording on my laptop here, and so I'm going to carry you to my little nightstand over here and put you there and just kind of kind of show you the amount of t-shirts and other things that I have that are BCC related. So follow me. I've got to unplug my tablet though so it don't come with me. Okay. Follow me. What am I connected to? Oh, my mouse pad. Hang on, I got all these cords. Okay, look guys, if you know me from before, I made my bed. Look at my little rabbit. I sleep with him every night. Don't judge me. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you right here. Oh, the dark closet. See if you fit. Oh, my last video. I'll turn this light on. That'll help. Um, I had I had received. Let me bring you with me here. I had received um, this thing right here that looks like a like a dress. But remember, I told you you put all your jewelry is in it. And so I was actually able to um, put quite a bit of my stuff in there. If you can see. And then also my um, dear friend Miss Teresa, um, who works out at the college as well, had given me this thing. Ugh, I'm horrible with this thing. Had given me this thing as well. Um, it's metal and it's got the little hooks and stuff. So between the both of them, I was actually able to fully um, display my jewelry instead of having it just as this, this big um, jumping jewel, whatever mess, you know, that just drove me bananas. Um, so that was really nice. Um, I can kind of see it in my closet here. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll start there. Okay, this is my full closet. Like, this is one thing I've never had in my whole life, is, um, like a full walk-in closet. So there's, like, one section of it. Excuse, like, my bras and stuff. And, um, there's the other part of it. And then, if you turn around this way, hello, uh, you'll see this. This is what I call my, oh, I need to clean this up. But this is what I call my convenience store, because I have, like, everything in here. Um, it's supposed to be, this is the way I had originally had planned it, but it's not. It's supposed to be, like, combs and stuff here no yeah here and then like fingernail polish and like there's the remover there and then I have a ton of lotions and bath and body works and sprays and just all kinds of stuff up here um yeah there's a lot I love I lo if anyone 
wants to ever give me anything and you're not sure if I would like it or not I love smells I love perfumes and I'll actually show you um, okay so I'll finish this part down here okay so down here I have like personal hygiene products I have shampoo conditioner body wash um, hair care products um, my medicine is here and then I've got books and different things down at the bottom but um, this right here so like do you know when you get like a magazine excuse me I'll put you down now. Um, so you like, you know, when you get like magazines and stuff and they have the free inserts for, um, <sighs> trying to sell you like perfumes and stuff, but they'll have the free little samples in there. Okay. I always take them. Pick a card, any card, pick a card, any card. I probably got close to 50 here and this isn't even all of them and they all smell so good and I love them cause I'll use them because I... And on a budget, I'm a mama on a budget, I'm a single mama, I'm a college student on a budget. I can't afford some of this stuff. Like my favorite is um, Michael Kors. I think it's like Blush or, or Blossoms or something like that. It's one of his newest ones. It smells so good, but it's like $89 or something for like a little, so many ounces, you know, it's ridiculous. I can't afford it. So, I'll put that back there. And I've learned through little hacks that, um, by just opening up the little inserts and just kind of like rubbing it on your rubbing it, like rubbing it on your clothes it'll last a little bit longer than like rubbing it on your um my hair than rubbing it on your actual skin because over time it just wears off or if you wash your hands or something you know so i learned if you put just a little bit of um oil vaseline will work as well or um i have like coconut oil i love coconut oil um if you put just a touch of that on your skin wherever you're going to place it like your key points where you put perfume is like on the back of your neck like behind your ear or on your um What's this thing called? A wrist? If you put just a touch of that on it, and then you put the, um, you rub the spray on it, it lasts longer because it soaks into your skin. So, a little FYI, DIY, whatever you want to call it. So, we're going to go on and show you some of my, um, some of my stuff. I'll pull them out and show them to you. Okay. These are my two hoodies, which I love. First one is a purple BCC hoodie. Always wearing that one. And then I have... The swanky one that is not on the hanger, right? Um, my green, like hunter green one. Um, they actually do not sell these anymore since we, since our bookstore changed over and now Follett is the name. I think Follett or something like that. How do you pronounce that? Has taken over. Um, so because of that, um, they're able to bring in like the Under Armour and the Champion brands like I just showed you. So because of that, um, they do no longer sell these no more. So, hello. Let's see. Um, I'll start in the back back here. Bear with me. I'm coming and going. Okay. Here is an old SGA shirt. I'm student government secretary um, out at the college. So this is one of our first shirts. Um, just a regular, what do you call it, a polo shirt. Just to show that we're an officer. Okay, so I have that. I'm just going to pile everything on the bed. And then afterwards, I can put it all away. I have a long sleeve BCC hoodie. This one's in like a maroon red. I like it a lot. I found that one. Oh, are y'all keeping count? Because I'm not. Maybe y'all are keeping count. Okay. Next. They're all kind of jumbled in here, so I gotta go through and get them. Okay. This one don't count, but it's from Elizabeth City. Because we went to um the college is a tour or whatever so i got one of their shirts from there they don't really count Shh, don't say nothing i got that let's see oh here we go here's some more i got this real pretty ugh, real pretty mint green one same thing bcc it's not even showing up on the camera um but it's it's really pretty and bright and it has our um our crab which is our state not our state um, animal it's our, our hometown animal like the crabs because they're right on the waterfront okay so I got that we're starting to get more here okay here we go okay, I'll just bring a whole mess up okay here is another S this is our newest one our SGA shirt student government shirt SGA and um, same thing on the back BCC so we got that one here is just a regular BCC sweater. 
Really nice and comfy, extra big. I like that a lot. Um, here is one of the expensive um, Under Armour, and it's the silk material like you, like Under Armour is known for. You know, like their their sportswear or whatever. So this is real pretty. It's baby blue, Carolina blue. If you're from Carolina, it's Carolina blue. If anywhere else, it's baby blue. Um, but for kind of community college, um, and here's a regular um, cotton, but for kind of community college t-shirt as well let's see nope nope okay okay um, okay here's like a teal colored bcc shirt my colors are just not showing up um here's another student government shirt exactly like the one i just showed you except that it's long sleeves for winter time and it's like a dark um, navy blue um, here is a hunter green that matches my hunter green um, hoodie that I showed you earlier that is no longer available. I have a matching t-shirt to go with it. <sighs> Am I done yet? No. Let's see. Um, oh, this one actually is really nice. Um, I got this one from conference when I went to student government. Um, conference and it says we are 58 strong and um, basically there's 58 community colleges in the state of North Carolina and twice a year they get together um, and have a big conference all the officers from all the colleges come together we have a big old to do um, in different places and so this is one of the t-shirts I won and then on the back of course it's in the shape of North Carolina but then all 58 actual colleges are named in there so that one's kind of cool I like that one as well um, I am out of breath. How am I out of breath? Okay. Same thing as before. I have a couple duplicates as well. Baby blue. Um, cotton one. Um, this one, again, is like the teal. Real pretty. And I might be saying these work, these colors wrong, but that's what I'm thinking the color are. It's like a greeny teal color. And that one. Oh, look. Don't tell nobody. I have an ECU one as well. Here's four more. So once again, another duplicate. It's like the teal color again. That one I didn't even, the shirt is all hanging in and out. I think the problem is, is I have so much in my, in my closet that stuff starts getting smushed. Um, that's not a problem though. So I got that one. Um, this one, which I'm very proud of, it's one of them. Um, it's BCC Ambassador, because I am an ambassador um, out at the college. Uh, my face as long as well of like nine others I think there's a total of ten of us or twelve of us um, that had gotten picked we had to go through the whole interview process and everything um, so it's a very elite group they got picked to be the face of Beaufort and so I'm one of them obviously the queen is one of them oh my god let me stop okay um, pink I love pink I don't think pink's my color because I'm always so flushed and I think it accentuates that but I love pink kind of like I love sparkles I'm attracted to it okay here is the um, it's like the maroon color like the dark red you know real pretty color I got that one as well um, let's see. Okay. Am I coming to the end? I'm getting closer okay Damn. here we go again Kind of that same mint green color but it's the newer design that they sell now which is just the Beaufort County Community College so I have that and I have um, a very worn like this one this purple one coming up right here is um, actually probably gonna get turned into like wear at home lounging around kind of clothes because I've about wore it out it's very thin um, because I wore it so much and washed it um, so Grab this last little bunch all together. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, so we have this is like a peachy coral, very similar to the actual color that I have on. It's just different design. Like this one's got the crab, and I don't think mine does. No, mine's got the circle. 
with the DCC in it. Um, same color, different design. Um, what is this? Oh, this is my black long sleeve um, shirt that I have. I actually like these a lot because I can actually pair them underneath the shirt like this if I'm like cold. And then later on if I um, get too hot, I can always take one off. Um, here's a real pretty lavender purple that I have. I like this one a lot. Um, I don't wear it as much as I would want to only because I'm so scared of these light colors. They scare me because I'm so clumsy with <sighs> spilling stuff on me. So, can anyone relate to that? Let's see. Here's another ambassador shirt that I have. They gave us two, or I somehow acquired two. Shh, don't say nothing. Um, and then these, okay, this is my, what is it called, dressed up SGA shirt um, for this um, year they've given us. It's the white, like the Under Armour material. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. It's that breathable, real silky material. Student government, just a white, really nice polo shirt. SGA and then same kind of material here but in blue um, but this wasn't this one isn't specifically SGA but it's still a nice um, polo shirt I believe that is it as far as the, the BCC memorabilia goes as far as just like the shirts and then I have probably close to six or eight that are have been um, retired that I use, you know, for around the house care like I, like I have now. Um, so I am going to bring you back to my table after showing you this mountain. Oh my God, look at that. Has anyone kept count on how many I have? Because there is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of pride there. Let me stop. Okay, I'm going to bring you back to the table here. Now I'm going to dance for you. No, I'm not. I'm not going to dance for you. <sighs> I'd be like, Mr. T, I pity the fool who has to watch me dance. <laughs> okay, I'm all flushed and hot now. Ooh, there is no water in there. Do I have water? Yes, I do. Hang on a minute. I don't know, talking to yourself would get you so thirsty. I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to you guys. So better. Okay. Um, so I think that's it. I think it's all I'm going to do for today. Um, I appreciate so much you sticking around and watching and just kind of getting into my world a little bit. Um, comment below. Uh, of course, as always, um, like and share. Um, like and share my um, my videos that I upload for your benefit, um, for my benefit as well. Um, it's a way for me to capture me. Um, but subscribe. Come on, people. Um, I know you're watching the videos. Just subscribe to me. You know, you don't have to watch them. I would prefer you do, but you don't have to. Okay, it is right now 2.51. So I'm going to clean all my mess up. All that mess over there on the bed. That's not the bed. What is that? Oh, it's the bag. <laughs> the bed behind me. i got to clean all that up now. Um... And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I love y'all. God bless. And I will see you next time. Bye. Wait, I wasn't ready. Bye.